Wow, NASA just found the biggest star in the universe. Are you ready for its size? The Sun is the largest body in our solar system, and in fact, it is this star which breathes life on Earth. But is the Sun the largest star there is? The answer is a resounding no. In this video, we will talk about the largest star which NASA has found. But before we talk more about this, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. By scientific standards, our Sun is a yellow dwarf, which makes it a bit smaller than a traditional star. There are so many stars out there, and almost all of them are bigger than our Sun. To understand more about these huge stars, let's try to find out more about these stars. The first thing you would notice is that these stars do not have a neatly defined boundary. Stars do not have a solid defined line owing to a lack of physical body. Most of these stars are actually superheated masses of gas, which go slowly out into nothing, which gives them a dispersed surface. To understand where the surface of a star starts from, scientists use the photosphere, at which point stars become transparent. The second most important point about a star is that since we do not have an actual surface area, therefore we do not have an exact measurement of a star. This means that we do not have precise dimensions, but that does not mean we usually go out with specific measurements for planets and other celestial bodies. For stars, we mostly have estimates. Now with the Sun in our solar system, we think that is an extremely large celestial object, because we are located very close to the Sun. The proximity of the Sun to Earth creates an illusion of its immense size. But make no mistake, the Sun is not the largest star in the cosmos. But what is the largest star that we have found in the cosmos? The answer depends on what skill you are using to determine which star is the largest star, occupied space or total volume. The stars with the most mass are unimpressive in terms of size, while the most massive stars are actually faint because these stars will keep on expanding and eventually die. When it comes to mass, the star called R136, located in the large Magellanic Cloud, holds the record. This is a tiny galaxy, which revolves around the Milky Way. About 160,000 light years away, there is a star which is almost 40 times the size of our Sun. This star is 200 times heavier than the Sun, and is also quite young, since it is estimated to have lived only about a million years, as compared to our Sun, which is at least 4.5 billion years ago. There are other stars out there which has the largest diameter, such as the UV Scuti, which is estimated to be at 738.35 million miles. But UV Scuti is a variable star, which means that it is difficult to determine the exact size of this star. But to give you a scale, this red giant is approximately 1700 times the size of our Sun. This means UV Scuti is a hypergiant. A hypergiant is an extremely rare phenomenon, and its photosphere would be bigger than Jupiter's orbit. This would probably give you an understanding as to how huge UV Scuti really is. The Jupiter is located almost 484 million miles away from the Sun. The distance between the Earth and the Sun is estimated to be almost 92 million miles, which is taken as 1 AU. At this rate, this distance would go beyond Pluto's orbit too. UV Scuti in its spherical shape would be 10 stories taller than our Sun. However, you must also take into account that it is extremely difficult to accurately estimate the size of a star because they appear brighter from up close and dimmer from a distance. Also because these stars are located so far away, astronomers usually end up with a huge margin of error when coming up with the sizes of these stars. Another problem with estimating their size is that the brightness of these stars may vary. One example of this is that the radius of UV Scuti may be 192 radi greater or smaller than what they have previously stated. This example is enough to infer that hyperstars are extremely difficult to measure accurately. Other scientists think that WOHG64 might be the biggest star in the universe. This star is from 1504 to 1730 radi and is classified as a red hypergiant situated in the Large Magellanic Cloud. The brightness of this star also varies with time, partly because it is located in a dust cloud, which blocks out some of the light coming off from a star. It is estimated that the mass of the WOHG 64 may have once been 25 times greater than that of the Sun. But as we mentioned previously, it is a red giant, which means that it is close to a supernova. This means that it is quickly losing mass. Scientists estimate that it might have lost between 3 and 9 solar systems equivalent to mass in total. This brings us to the conclusion of this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. See you soon in another video. Until then, take care.